Hello, I am going to tell a story of a person who appears to have been drugged or poisoned for being a whistleblower. This story is inspired by actual events with the world we live in. I'm sure you understand, legally I can tell you more truth with fiction than non-fiction. So please don't ask if it was General Motors and the UAW. I can't answer those questions. I will be telling you many stories inspired by actual events. On occasion, I will state actual events that can be verified. But unless specifically mentioned and linked in the description. Understand legally it is just a story inspired by actual events. Well, thank you for joining me again for another tale. I would like to journey back maybe a year before the last tale. The last tale was set on the door line. This one takes place on third shift in trim 3. This one will talk of the author being harassed by people of deliberate sabotage, all being done and led by an appointed member of the union leadership. First off, I need to set the stage. The plant in question had people from all over the country. Kind of a melting pot. They had people from parts plants and assembly plants. They had people from a plant that was no longer part of the company. These people were paid $100,000 I was told to give up ties to the company. Their seniority and higher pay. It used to be people could transfer back and forth before it was spun off. Their company, I think, went into bankruptcy. So they were allowed to come back. They should have come in with corporate seniority and the tier 2 pay. They were allowed to keep seniority and tier 1 pay. And the $100,000. Can we start to see why some of these auto companies went bankrupt? There were people that worked for the company. But were represented by a different union. It was a union from outside the country. Don't ask, that seems fucked up even for this place and union. But they didn't work for a different company. They did not receive any extra pay. Not even cab fare. They really got screwed. Some even lost their pension. I had one such person on my team. It's not right. I want these small enough that people can share them on TikTok. So I will end this tale here. And hopefully we'll have part 2 of this story published soon.